Hey guys, Adventures in Pop Culture, how you doing? My name's Jeff, his name's Jason. And my name. What's a bulldog? Always a bulldog. <laughs> yeah. Auburn Bulldogs represent. <laughs> we can nail it. Should I? I might have to beep that out. That's the first we time. We don't I've, usually cuss. You have to, do, the, do the beep thing. That's, you the first do time, that? that's the first time I've dropped the F word. Mm, yeah. I might have to figure out how to do it. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry, kids. Boy, yeah, I'm sorry. Dalton, don't use that word. Dalton. Uh, Jack. Jack. Max. Max. Yeah. You know, if you're watching, hey. <laughs> it's not cool what I just did. Anyways, today's video is a uh, a big fan Let's of ours. Books! Oh, he, sorry. Brian Knutson. I think he's a big fan. Maybe he like casually hates this stuff. He just happens to either way. He's watching. Yeah, yeah. He suggested that we do a lunchbox theme video, and I said, "Hey, why not? Let's do it." You have collected a lot of lunchboxes. A lot of them. Uh, a book. A good portion of my lunchbox collection is currently stuck on a wall. Which, if you're gonna collect lunchboxes, maybe don't stick them on a wall because mm -hmm. not they, your best move. They fall off every once in a while. You know. Uh, but it looks pretty cool, so let's It go looks over, really cool. Let's go over there right now. Jason's gonna be my filmer. Let's go film some lunchboxes. Yeah. So here we are at the wall of plastic lunchboxes. All of them that you see here are either from Aladdin or Thermos. And we got 72 of them up here. So just real quickly, we're just gonna go through uh, some of my favorite ones. We got James Bond Jr. That's pretty sweet. Right next to him, we got DuckTales. Who doesn't love DuckTales? <laughs> Uh, moving forward, got two Barbies right next to each other. Dig it. Yeah, I collect Barbie anything. Get at me. <laughs> moving forward, oh, actually, I said that most of these were either uh, the two big companies, but this is Dunson Checks, Checks In, and this was by 20th Century Fox. So I'm guessing it was some sort of like maybe even like a movie theater giveaway. Uh, moving forward, Pink Panthers and Son. How can you not love that? You got Pee Wee's Playhouse right there, right next to him. You got Steve Urkel. Did I do that? Yeah, of course you did that, Steve. <laughs> you always did it. Uh, where's Waldo? Another great one. Moving backwards. You got Inspector Gadget. Gotta love him. Oh, let's jump over and go right to Roger Rabbit. What a cool dude. Moving up forward, you got Monsters in My Pocket. A very fun toy line. And it also spawned... Is, it, is that based on a video game? Can you remember? No, it's fond of video one? game, I yeah, think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got Little Mermaid, Days of Thunder, oh, Tiny Toons Adventures. Man, I keep skipping good ones. Robocop right up there. Then you got Return of the Jedi, Dinosaurs, uh, Jurassic Park 3. Is it the rest Jurassic Park? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> California Raisins, Jabberjaw, Super Mario Bros. And I think if you go oh, all the way down here, you got another Super Mario Bros. one. And it also features Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. Animaniacs, Pound Puppies, X-Men, another Barbies. Get at me at my Barbie game. I'll take anybody on. Uh, you got Simpsons, The Real Ghostbusters, Smurfs, Teddy Ruxpin. I mean, this is the era of lunchboxes for me because it's so much stuff that holds so much nostalgia for me. Uh, I think we went through a pretty good chunk of boxes that are on the wall. Oh, how could I forget VR Troopers? Ooh, damn. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, see you back over at the table. How was that? I enjoyed it. It was fun. Yeah. Back at the table now, we're going to talk about some of my collection that is not on the wall Ooh. for various reasons. So I'm going to get right into it. Yeah, let's. I'm excited. First of all, we got All Dogs Go to Heaven. Now, most lunchboxes are either Thermos or the, another company, which I'm sure I already mentioned, but now I, their name slips my mind. Thermos or... Um, oh, I know this. Oh, God. How do I not know this? Thermos and... Uh... Not Thermos. Oh, well. There's like the big... Aladdin. Oh, yeah. Aladdin. Aladdin. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, I really like this one because I'm not... I should look it up to figure out like what the story is behind it. But it's sponsored by Downey and Boyk's Club of America. That is weird. And you never see this with lunchboxes. But it has got the sticker on one side and another sticker on the back side. A two-sided lunchbox just doesn't happen all that often. Um, then if you open it up... Oh, that's a sweet thermos. You got the thermos to go along with it. 
bet your chicken noodle soup would have tasted extra good in there. Yeah. So I like that one because it's just such an oddity. Jeff, can you tell me who starred in uh, All Dogs Go to Heaven? I certainly cannot, but I think you can. Burt Reynolds. Oh, really? Burt Reynolds. Dang. Yeah. Dom Delaney's. I think there was other people too, but if memory it serves, Burt Reynolds was the main dog. Nice. Yeah. Now, as I mentioned, I like collecting the plastic lunch boxes the the most because that's these, the bulk of your collection. That it, it's and I like it because you know they're of the era. When you would have been that, having lunches in those boxes. Yeah, and it's like the stuff that I like really love, mm -hmm. you know? Like the cartoons that I used to watch and stuff like that. But I also <laughs> like the metal ones. I don't collect very much of them because usually they cost a lot of money. Yeah, those are marked up pretty good. Yeah, so here's Masters of the Universe. He-Man actually got this at a garage sale. He wanted $25 for it. I talked him down to $13. It's got the thermos on the inside. That's a good box. And it is embossed, which means that the... It's raised on the front there. And there's even stuff like going on on the bottom. That's what's pretty cool about these ones. Yeah. They, I mean, they're definitely the cooler lunch boxes. Um, but I still like the other ones more for whatever reason. So there's that one. I get that. And then we also have Muppet, Muppet Babies. Babies. We're making our dreams come true. Da -da 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 -da. Muppet Babies. Something, something. Do the same for you. Da -da 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 -da. When your world looks kind of weird. And um, wish that you... So here, here we are. You you would have got it. Oh, you, yeah. You would have got I mean, it. I think I remember most of that song. <laughs> Uh, again, it's got artwork on all sides. This one is also by Thermos. I love the Muppet Babies. Oh, yeah. The Muppet Babies were great. Yeah. With the, the babysitter where Nanny. you could only, only see her stockings. Nanny. And it was like... Wah, 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 wah. Um, and this is Wait, not... Is that what she was like? This is not embossed. I think so. That's how I remember it. So it's not raised. Kind of gives you a variety of what different metal ones are like. Again, this is in super nice shape. That is a nice shape. It's still got the price tag on the bottom. Uh, it came from the half-price store, and way back when, it cost $3.99. What'd you get it for? That is a steal. Boy, you know, I don't even remember where I got this from. But there you go. And then, last but not least, I think this is actually the fav the most favorite lunchbox I've ever collected. That is a sweet lunchbox. And it is Street Fighter II. Boom! And it is in pretty horrible shape. <laughs> Got a lot of scratches all around the side. But why I love this so much is because some kid, uh, probably the coolest kid I've ever met, sticker bombed it. I would have loved to eat lunch with this kid. He did an awesome job. You got some dinosaurs there. This kid wouldn't have been caught dead eating lunch with me. You got Super Mario there. You got Ninja Turtles right there. Uh, another Mario Brothers one. You got Wario. I mean, just all around. He put some awesome, awesome stickers on here. Legend of Zelda, more dinosaurs. Uh, I learned about fire safety. I mean, it's just so cool. Who's winning this fight on the front? Is it Chun-Li or Blind? Because Ryu is losing that fight, now, which is kind of interesting. Ryu's definitely losing. Chun-Li is about to get knocked over, and Blanca is firmly in control of the match. Kind of weird that that's Ryu's not winning on a lunchbox. I mean, yeah. Ryu was the poster boy. Yeah. So that's the video. Brian, I hope we fulfilled all your wildest, wildest dreams. Wildest dreams. And fantasies. Can we, uh, that Muppet Babies thing. Did she have no, no, a no, voice? No. Or did she, was it that thing you're talking oh, about? Oh, no, maybe she it's did like a really have a soothing voice. voice. And what's that thing you're talking about? I think I'm talking about, uh... You're driving Charlie me Brown. nuts. Charlie yeah. Brown. The Peanuts. Yeah. yeah. Man, that was driving me nuts. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry to go. No, go that's fine. Now. Guys, smash that subscribe button. Yeah. Like the video. Yeah. Leave a comment. And... Lunchbox. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Too, Too sweet. sweet. Two brothers in Nebraska. Pop culture's what they love. Join them as they talk about all of their cool stuff. Adventures in Pop Culture